Yeah. And you mentioned shift workers and I, I know this could take us down a rabbit hole, but Emily, you and I spoke yeah. about this <laughs> yeah. previously. Uh, Courtney, you mentioned earlier that I think I think you mentioned that shift work is associated with chronic diseases. Clearly, shift workers are, are very, very important people. We rely on them in very uh, many parts of our society. I'm wondering, since our last conversation, Emily, which was probably a couple of years ago now, has there been any further research looking at shift workers? What uh, types of protocols or strategies that people can perhaps lean into from a meal timing point of view that may help them nurture their circadian rhythms despite these kind of more uh, irregular working hours? Yeah, so our, our paper in, in shift and uh, 24 hour firefighters is, is coming out uh, soon. Um, but there is really feasibility. Um, it was the main outcome, but also looking at other health outcomes. Um, and we do see that it's feasible. We didn't see any adverse side effects, so they didn't have hunger problems or anything like that, which was nice to see. But in all fairness, 24 hour shift work is the easiest shift work to do a time restricted eating regimen on because their night is still their night. They're able to try to sleep at night. They get woken up many times and it's not the same quality of sleep, but they're still awake during the day always, which is very different than say a night shift schedule where you're trying to sleep during the day and you're um, eating at night um, and you're awake at night. Um, And I think there's a lot of debate there and I'm very excited where that field is going. There's some really exciting work from Australia um, coming out, actually looking at different macronutrients throughout the night. So there were some cool studies done where they either gave um, like biphasic eating. So you ate kind of twice a day, maybe about 12 hours apart, and you didn't eat across the night at all. And you'd have better glucose regulation in the morning than if you had a full meal in the middle of the night. And the compromise in between where they gave them half that meal, they had like half the improvement. Um, And so I think one of the things shifting there is saying, okay, well, maybe it's not a good idea to have a large bowl of pasta in the middle of the night as your meal when you're on a night shift, but maybe switching to lean fats, higher protein, lower carb might be Mm -hmm. able to help that. But that is such a young field um, and a lot more needs to be done there to see how we can say, okay, one, is it possible to stick to something like time restricted during your day when you are active during the day for something like a 24 hour uh, shift worker? And then, you know, it's going to be different for every other shift. And there's so many different types of shift work. A nurse is going to be different than a news anchor is going to be different, you know, like all these different things and some of them move. And so I think that's where the field is going. And I think controlling types of foods that you eat is going to be the compromise to say, what can we do to mediate mm. the risks and mediate the damage as much as we can? And sometimes that's going to be time restricted eating. And sometimes that's going to have to go down more into the types of foods that you're eating. Sure. What would you do if, if you all of a sudden had to work 10 p.m. to 6 a.m.? That was your regular kind of sh- shift overnight. And so you were up and awake while it was dark and you would come home after your after you clock off at 6 a.m. and perhaps go to bed at 8 a.m., what would you, how would you set up your meals? Yeah, that's, that's rough. Um, and this is very anecdotal because we don't have mm-hmm. a good answer for this. And some rodent trials have tried and it, it, it's mixed. Um, I think I would, and the, one of the big problems is because you switch back and forth between being mm-hmm. awake during the day and being awake at night. And that's one of the really big problems there. Um, and humans who do try to stick to always being awake at night, that doesn't, usually work. So you're switching back and forth. One idea is to try a biphasic eating where maybe I eat at eight and eight every day. And it's just, it doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. And then maybe on my days off, I could also eat during the daytime when I'm active. Um, and I'd probably have, if I'm really hungry while I'm working, I'd have like some nuts, Mm -hmm. like a handful of like almonds or something like that. That's really not going to trigger any type of glycemic response. Um, The other option would be to try to stick to some kind of, you know, 10 hour eating during the day. But I don't think that makes sense because then you're not going to get enough, like you're going to be awake for too long and before you get to eat again. So I think if I had my first go, I would probably try a biphasic, Mm -hmm. but that is, um, you really, I think have to test it out and see what works for you and then adjust. And the data just really isn't there to say what is best. And it, there are such hard trials to run and there's so many different types of shift work 
um, that it's something that I'm very interested in. And I think we really do need to do. I mean, I completely agree with you. The shift work population are key. I mean, we even titled our study, the healthy hero study, mm-hmm. because they are the heroes of our society. Um, and so I think finding ways to help them mediate the disruption to their circadian system is huge. Um, and so I really want to go down that path, but there's, there's still a lot to know before I can say, do this, it'll work. We just don't know yet. Let- let me add two things on top of that. So Frank Shear's lab just came out recently with a study where they took individuals and had them kind of simulate doing night shift work. And they what they ended up testing was if you're doing night shift work, is it better to eat during your shift in the middle of the night or is it better to eat during the daytime? And in that study, they actually found it was better for their glycemic control to actually eat during the daytime than mm-hmm. on their shift. Now, the big caveat for these studies is these were not individuals who habitually did shift work. And we do know from short-term studies of shift work that we do see adaptation over time, right? So this may not generalize to people who chronically do shift work. Again, distinction between acute and Mm -hmm. chronic. But I will say I do know right now there is a group, Josie Brossard's group um, at UC Boulder, I believe, is um, Mm -hmm. studying whether time-restricted eating can be a countermeasure. So in other words, can it kind of lessen the side effects of night shift work? 